Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope everybody's day is off to a great start. I'm thankful to be amongst the living this morning. I'm thankful to be in the land of the living this morning. I'm thankful that God woke me up this morning and gave me another chance. So, real quick, I got a word for y'all this morning. What is the word for today? What's the daily bread for today? Daily bread for today is this. No man gets God's glory, right? Turn with me in your Bibles, and guess what we're reading from today? John the 6th chapter. Y'all should have known that, right? So today I want you to turn to John the sixth chapter, but I want to start reading from the 28th verse and I'm going to read to the 32nd verse and it reads, then they asked him, what must we do to do the work God requires? Jesus answered, the work of God is this to believe in the one he has sent. So they asked him, what miraculous sign then will you give that we may see it and believe you? What will you do? Our forefathers ate the manna in the desert, as it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. Jesus said to them, I tell you the truth, it is not Moses who has given you the bread from heaven, but it is my father who gives you the true bread from heaven. So in this little scripture here. What's happening is this is the crowd that we talked about a couple of weeks ago, the crowd that basically had no respect for Jesus, had no regard for him and was just there trying to get free food. Right. They didn't believe in him. It was all about what they could get. So the crowd asked Jesus, what must we do to do the works God requires? And Jesus answered, basically, you have to believe in the one he sent. And so the crowd asked him, what sign then will you give that we may see it and believe you? What will you do? 31st verse, it goes on to say that the crowd told Jesus, our forefathers ate the manna in the desert. As it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. What they're talking about is when Moses was able uh, to basically provide bread in the desert, but the bread came from God. Of course, God made Moses, he gave Moses the capability to do essentially kind of like what Jesus just did, where he did the uh, the two fish and the five loaves of bread. Basically, they are going back to a historical event where Moses was able to give them bread in the wilderness. And so when they say our forefathers ate the manna in the desert, as it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. Jesus said, correction, I tell you the truth. It is not Moses who has given you the bread from heaven, but it is, it is my father who gives you the true bread from heaven heaven. So as we talked about how the disciples really had little regard for Jesus and they were there primarily for what they could get from Jesus, right? What the crowd told Jesus is that basically that when they said their forefathers, they're saying that Moses, right, gave them bread in the wilderness. Their forefathers were given bread from Moses and the, the, the crowd was saying that the bread came essentially from Moses. The bread of heaven came from Moses. Jesus corrected the crowd and told them the bread from heaven did not come from Moses. It came from God, right? And so it is a painful thing. Let's relate this to, to us, right? It's a painful thing when you're in a struggle and when you're in a storm and there are people around you who can help you and they will not do it. It's a hurtful thing when you support your friends and you support your family, right? And then when it comes down to you and what it is that you're trying to do, then they have no support for you and they leave you out there high and dry. It's a hurtful thing when people will not support you and all it takes is for one person, your aunt or your uncle who has all this money to just break some bread with you, right? And help you out and you would be out of the storm. And we wonder why does God allow that to happen? Why doesn't God touch the hearts of the people who can help you so that they can help you get out the storm? Psalms, the 50th chapter and the 15th verse, and I'm reading from the King James Version on this scripture here. And it reads, and call upon me in the day of trouble, I will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me. I will deliver thee. That's God. I will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me. What's the daily bread for today? No man gets God's glory. So what the crowd thought, what the crowd believed is that really they didn't have to have a relationship with God. They believed that if they could just get in front of somebody who was connected to God, right? If they could just get 
in front of someone who had the favor of God upon them, then they could get the benefits, right? They didn't say God sent down the bread from heaven. They were basically saying that Moses did. Moses provided, right? And so we wonder why does God allow us to struggle when there are people right up under our noses who can help us? Here is the deal. Here is why God often allows that. Because you will become ignorant like this crowd and you will then give glory to the person who helps you. When you are going to people, when you're going to man, when you're going to your family, when you're going to your friends, when you're going to your exes, when you're going to your boyfriends and your girlfriends, and when you're going to people seeking help, right? If they were to help you in a time of trouble, who do you give credit to? You will give credit to them. God does not allow oftentimes for people to come in and assist us when they can easily do it because no man gets God's glory. Psalms, the 50th chapter and the 15th verse, and call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me. No man gets God's glory. When we are looking to people and we're looking to them, we're looking to businesses, we're looking to people for help, right? We're looking for people to give us that helping hand to get us out of the storm, right? When we do that, oftentimes God blocks that. Oftentimes, oftentimes God will make these people blind to you. Like they don't even see you. You're struggling. You're hungry. You're broke. You're looking at all the people around you who have money. And you're wondering to yourself, what is it? Do they not see me struggling? Do they not care about me enough to give to me and to help me in my time of need? They don't even pay attention to what you have going on. And God allows that. And the reason why he allows it is because he wants you to go to him, right? He wants you to go to him because when he brings you out, right? When he helps you out, when you call upon him in the day of trouble and he delivers you guess who gets the credit for that god does guess who gets the credit and the glory and the honor from helping you in a time of trouble guess who gets the glory and the honor from delivering you in the middle of a crisis and a storm it's going to be god that's why God allows people to have a blind eye to you, to not help you. That's why God does not allow you to get the loans. That's why God didn't allow you to get the PPP loans uh, when you were well qualified and eligible to receive them. That's why God allows these things to happen because he wants you to not be dependent on the things of this world and the people of this world. He doesn't want you to get dependent upon man. He wants you to depend on him. And if you call upon him in the day of trouble, he will deliver you and you will glorify him. What's the daily bread for today? No man gets God's glory. I love y'all. I'm Grace Amber. I'll be right back on tomorrow.